mind an explosion. When something bursts open spontaneously, it is called the explosion. This act of exploding is a miracle. This does not happen by its own. For this we have to remove all that creates obstruction in the free flow of energies within our bodies and the mind. In the process of explosion there is an element of destruction. This does not mean that all actions that are associated with the negative energy are dropped. These negative energies arise because of anger, hatred, envy, jealousy and hostility. Whenever a particular energy arises in us, there is a chemical reaction. Many hormones are released in the body. And if there is an imbalance between the hormones thus produced within the body because of these energies that are arising because of anger, hatred, envy, jealousy and hostility and there is no balance between the hormones that are released, there is hormonal imbalance. It can be of many dimensions and proportions. The process of destruction implies a process of cleaning. When this takes place, no ashes or smoke are left behind. Only debris is cleared away. This act of exploding is a miracle. There is no motive or self-determination for this. This explosion happens unexpected as a sunrise. In this process of destruction, if we can call this, there is no destroyer. As long as there is someone as destroyed, a motive, plan and a reason is bound to be there. When a destroyer exists, his action can never be spontaneous and all that he does becomes a bondage, which he has to pay for in some way. This is called the law of actions of karma. So the destroyer cannot escape the suffering. No matter how hard he may try, the situation of the destroyer is like that of an elephant stuck in the mud. There is another aspect of this explosion. This is the positive and joyful experience of meditation. This includes joy, bliss and ecstasy, stillness of the mind, lightness of the body, dissolution of all thoughts and deep and profound inner silence are some of the experiences in meditation. If you closely and attentively watch what happens in meditation, you will observe this process of inner explosion operating with sensitive awareness. For example, when you watch your breath without a break for some time, you will perceive nothing apart from a pure movement. A movement in which creation is happening full of energy. This actually happens when there is utmost passive watchfulness. Passive watchfulness means you are not doing anything, yet still there is watchfulness. At that moment there is no watcher and no meditator. Quite often you observe that all thoughts disappear suddenly. With these also disappears the thinking mind and all feelings of reaction. Then you find yourself in a totally new inner vastness wherein all identification with the finite is no more. Time and space dissolve. Also there is no dimension to be perceived anywhere. The center of being within merges with the cosmic one. There are two centers, one the inner center, the other the cosmic center. When there is no dimensions to be perceived anymore, the center of being 
merges with the cosmic one. When you experience such a state of meditation, you are stuck with wonder at each moment as it passes. There also flows a sense of profound awakening. The body feels motionless and light, free of all pains and aches. This is the natural way of the body. At other times, you will find body full of sweat, but there is a pleasant sensation. In both cases, you feel clean, clear and pure. Such is the beauty of the explosion in meditation. There are psychological and emotional levels as well. Whenever there is a spontaneous explosion during meditation, it always leads to the clearing of the accumulations of actions at these levels of explosion. All active meditation developed by the enlightened master Osho works at three plane, three levels that of the body, emotions and mind and thus clears all karmic accumulations, the accumulations of our past actions that continue to remain plaguing our civility. Some of these are stored in the physical body, some in the form of emotions and some in the form of thoughts. Just simply look at any relationship. The moment you remember any of your past strained relationship, body becomes stiff, different kind of emotions emerge and a sequence of thought patterns arise. And we have no control over this. These constantly impede our serenity, joy and peace. Through these meditations, the emotions that has started functioning at the level of body, the body becomes very stiff. The emotions get putrefied and thoughts. So it works and then all these creates blockages. Thus these active meditations clear all karmic accumulations at these levels. Generally, you find many blockages in the body. These obstruct the natural flow of energy. Because of this, you cannot function properly as a human being. Sometimes we cannot even manage to break down. In order to be totally free of at all levels, physical, emotional, psychological, social, mental and spiritual, we have to deal with every aspect of our life, all of our states of pain and suffering. Whenever you neglect any part, your total freedom will remain a myth or a dream. Let me explain how does this expression in meditation becomes an explosion. Those who are not familiar with the ways a master function, feel that there are techniques that can induce certain states. This is not true. Masters can create a situation for things, for a thing to happen, which may cause any state to happen. In the beginning, all aspirants are required to follow the traditional ways. These include sitting cross-legged, paying attention to all that happens, watching breath movement and also the contraction and expansion of the body. When you sit with your back straight, keep silent and walk or do anything mindfully. Energy erupts naturally. As it erupts, it begins to surge through the whole body. It then penetrates through those areas that are plagued with negative and destructive energy. Thus begins the process of cleansing. Aches and pains in certain part of the body indicate a blockage of this energy. It indicates that there is something not in order. And this disorderliness happens at physical, emotional, 
and psychological levels. You can get rid of this state when you are not seeking to avoid the pain. Also you are allowing all that is there to expose itself. Sometimes it entails a sudden release of energy either in sound or through movement. This happens in dynamic meditation and all other techniques of active meditation and also in vipassana meditation. As far as meditation is concerned, there is no self-determination or planning about all this that is to be done and achieved. You just let the things be and see what happens. In this process, you face whatever happens without any discrimination. The only thing that matters is your total concentration. This is the state wherein consciousness works on its own accord. During this process, all that is negative is released. In this process, Buddha's teaching of anatta or non-self is at work. It is so because there is no one behind the actions, no one to express, no one to feel. The meditators are the witness. Once the accumulated actions or karmas or thoughts or impressions are released, clarity, lightness, free flow of energy and freedom of being happen spontaneously and naturally. Thus you can see there are two meditative processes working simultaneously. These are elimination or purification and development both in the body and the mind.